calling on Russia, stop attacking hotels and journalists in Ukraine. E-Turbo News has been supporting the Committee to Protect Journalists, a U.S. independent nonprofit, non-governmental organization, based in New York City, and is joining the organization's effort to protect journalists around the world. The Committee to Protect Journalists, CPJ, is made up of about 40 experts around the world, with headquarters in New York City. When press freedom violations occur, CPJ mobilizes a network of correspondents who report and take action on behalf of those targeted. CPJ reports on violations in repressive countries, conflict zones, and established democracies alike. A board of prominent journalists from around the world helps guide CPJ's activities. CPD strives to ensure that justice prevails for imprisoned and killed journalists. We advocate for their freedom and well-being when journalists are detained, seek answers and accountability when they go missing or are killed, and work tirelessly to ensure that journalists around the globe can do their jobs safely and securely. The Committee to Protect Journalists on Friday called on Russia to stop targeting civilian infrastructure in Ukraine, after a missile strike on a hotel injured at least two journalists reporting on the war. On Wednesday, Russian forces shelled Park Hotel in Kharkiv in northeastern Ukraine, injuring Violette Anastasia Pederik, a Ukrainian freelance producer working with the French public broadcaster France Televisions, and Davit Kochkachishvili, a reporter with the Turkish state-owned Anadolu agency, Pederik and Etienne Leinhardt, France Television's head of investigations and special reports, told CPJ. Another attack on the Kharkiv Palace Hotel took place on December 31 injuring also a German journalist. At least 13 people were injured in the latest strike on the Park Hotel in the same city, but others escaped unharmed, including Anadolu agency photojournalist Uzge Alif Kazil, France Television's reporter Anais Hanquit, and camera operator Valerie Lucas, while Anadolu agency's car was destroyed, those sources said. Pederik told CPJ that her face and hands were hit by pieces of glass, while Kochkachishvili had minor cuts on his hands, according to the National Union of Journalists of Ukraine and the local press Freedom Group Institute of Mass Information, IMI. Neither was seriously injured. CPJ is very concerned about Russia's latest missile attack in Ukraine that targeted a hotel housing journalists. Media are instrumental in informing the world about the war, and journalists are civilians under international humanitarian law and should never be considered combatants, said Golnosa said, CPJ's Europe and Central Asia program coordinator. Russian and Ukrainian authorities should investigate the attack that injured journalists Violette Anastasia Pederik and Davit Kochkachishvili, and Russia must stop targeting civilian infrastructure in Ukraine, including facilities that house journalists. On Friday, Pederik told CPJ that she had returned to the capital, Kiev, and still had a bit of tremor when she moved, some nausea, and headaches, but she was feeling okay overall and would undergo a medical checkup on Saturday. Pederik told CPJ that on the morning of the attack, her team was reporting on the front line with artillery soldiers in the direction of the eastern city of Avdiivka, which she finds now very ironic. The attack happened five minutes after, the France television's team, arrived, and luckily enough, because Valerie, Lucas, and Anais, Hanquit, were still in the corridor, looking for their rooms, and I just had the time to enter the room, said Pederik, who has been covering the war for almost two years for multiple foreign media outlets. We were really scared, we felt that the second bombardment had hit the hotel directly. We still can't quite grasp what happened, Hanquit told France too. The Russian Defense Ministry gave no official comment on the January 10 strike. Soldiers have never stayed in this hotel, IMI quoted Kharkiv Mayor Ayer Tarakov as saying. This hotel was used by journalists. It was a well-known fact. This leads me to believe that the Russian Federation was targeting the mass media specifically. Russia has previously attacked hotels and restaurants in Ukraine known to be frequented by journalists. On December 30, a Russian missile hit another hotel in Kharkiv that was housing dozens of journalists, injuring three. On a Telegram channel, a Russian army officer claims that this facility was housing mercenaries. The members of our team are well and truly journalists, France too said in its report about the strike. CPJ's emails to the Russian and Ukrainian defense ministries did not receive any replies.
At least 15 journalists have been killed while working in Ukraine since Russia launched its full-scale invasion in February 2022, while many others have been injured, detained, or threatened.